There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories. Hello, I'm Tom. I'm sat here outside with my dog, Blue. Now, can you see all the flowers and the trees? Big or small, colourful or plain, all of them just grew from a tiny little seed. Now, these little plants are only a few years old. But did you know that really big trees are older than you? They're probably older than me, too. But this story is about a very old tree and all the wonderful things that have happened to it over a thousand years. It's called the Oak Tree, and it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Victoria Sandoy. Way back in time, a thousand years ago, an acorn on the ground began to grow. Into the earth there sank a wiggly root, and upwards crept a short and slender shoot. Below, a family of badgers slept, while up above, two children hopped and leapt. O oh, children, watch your feet. Tread carefully, mind where you land. Don't squash this baby tree. The oak survives, some 20 years have flown, and like the tree, the boy and girl have grown. Their children gather sticks to play new games, and in the oak tree's bark, they carve their names. A woodpecker has also made his mark, drilling for tasty grubs beneath the bark. Another 20 years go by, and now acorns are falling fast from every bough. New children gather them, paint little faces, make necklaces, play knuckle bones, run races. While stealthily, a squirrel and a jay collect their share and smuggle them away. The Normans come, and still the oak tree grows. These children play with arrows and with bows and carve long boats like those from other trees in which their parents sail, the stormy seas. Above their heads, a wasp begins to crawl, hatching from deep inside a leaf green gall. 300 years have passed. The tree still stands, a climbing frame for little feet and hands. Upon a wooden seat, a girl swings high, legs out, head back. She soars towards the sky. The autumn leaves fly off and whirl around. And piglets, guzzle acorns, on the ground. The Tudors rule the land. And now we see more children joining hands around the tree. The fiddles play and oakwood drumsticks beat, a merry tune for small and sprightly feet. They dance with oak leaf garlands in their hair, while butterflies are dancing in the air. The years roll onwards for a century. The mighty oak is now a hollow tree. A fleeing king is sheltering inside and children bring him food and help him hide. At night, the barn owls hunt for mice and voles, and hungry bats fly out of hidden holes. Another hundred years, and then a storm. The oak tree splits and takes a different form. But still, the children come and still they climb. The tree so changed by weather and by time, and fungi grow like shells with rainbow rings, and on the topmost twig, a black cap sings. And now, the tree, like all the world, is white. Victorian children love a snowball fight. Keeping an eye on them, their snowman stands with acorn buttons and with twigs for hands. A deer, a rabbit, and a hooded crow have left their crisscross footprints in the snow. The years bring war. The ancient tree lives on now that the fighters overhead have gone. These peacetime children picnic in its shade and feed their teddy sips of lemonade. And when the picnickers have gone away, the foxes and their cubs come out to play. The tree has stood through thunder, snow and hail, but now at last, it topples in a gale. Lying at rest, it welcomes other lives, 
Ants lay their eggs, a snuffling hedgehog thrives, a spider spins, and scarlet beetles creep while children weave and wobble, lurk and leap. But on the ground, an acorn starts to grow, just like the one a thousand years ago. How amazing that such a giant tree can grow out of something so small. Right, that story's given me an idea. I'm going to find an acorn, I'm going to plant it. And hopefully it will grow into a huge oak tree too and be a home to owls and bats and squirrels and millions of brilliant bugs. Now, do you know what helps you to grow? Sleep. So, off to bed, snuggle up tight. Maybe, maybe tomorrow you might be just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Night night. There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories.